The Kerry campaign gains even more strength. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Skinner. Democratic presidential frontrunner John Kerry has picked up more labor and political support. West Virginia Senator Jay Rockefeller and New York Congresswoman Nita Lowy have endorsed Kerry. And a major labor group, the 180,000 member Amalgamated Transit Union, has announced it is backing the Massachusetts senator. Now, in the meantime, another blow to Howard Dean's campaign, one of the nation's largest unions, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, says it is withdrawing drawing its support for the former Vermont governor. Juror questioning has delayed opening statements in the manslaughter trial of former NBA star Jason Williams. Opening statements were pushed off at least until tomorrow while lawyers asked potential jurors about their exposure to some recent media coverage of the case. Williams is accused in the shooting death of his limo driver at his estate in New Jersey. In Magnolia, Arkansas, a Walmart cashier called the cops after selling a bolt cutter at 4.30 in the morning to a customer wearing handcuffs. Seems he had escaped from police custody in Louisiana. Police caught him in a Walmart restroom where he had cut off those handcuffs. Diana Ross has been ordered to spend two days in jail for driving under the influence. You may remember she was arrested back in December of 2002 for drunk driving in Tucson, Arizona. And those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Time now to send you back to Chef. Who's back? Yes, how was the yes. weekend? Uh, it was good. How was yours? It was pretty good. Pretty I, good. I heard that um, we're going to play this tape that's going to make you really angry. I don't know about angry. but it's <laughs> So I said, roll it. What, what are these pups we got coming up here? Shepard has the thing about show dogs, I'm told. I don't know anything about this. I just this. don't. Do no, show dogs are show fine because I love Chet Collier. So <laughs> show dogs are fine. I don't think much of clothes, ant clothes on animals, but that's just me. Outfits? Okay. Well, I'm not sure that they're allowed to wear outfits. It's, and if anybody does, another you know, Westminster dog show of starts course. today love in it. New York City. Love it. It's the Super Bowl of dog shows. And this, I think, is a video from this hotel, which is right across the street from Madison Square Garden, which yep. is where the show is. And they're packed every year with the owners, and they allow the dogs to come and see. They have treadmills set up. They call it groom service instead of room service. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute. Come on, it's a little cute. Very clever. Anyway, they cater to the, they allow the dogs to come in and they give the treats and spa services for them, nail clippings, et cetera. But I think a lot of the owners, you know, they like, they pride themselves on being able to do those spa services themselves. Well, I'm sure they do. That's what it's all about. But do you know how many people watch this USA Network? You Huge know, numbers, like right? Like 4.6 million viewers is one of the top rated shows. And the. That's and, bigger than SpongeBob. Uh, it, I mean, it is. I think that gets about four million. Or yeah, so. and bigger than O'Reilly, if you can believe it. <laughs> well, let's not say it's that. It's only once a year, but uh, it's still. And the finals are tomorrow night, I think. Have you ever watched? I've watched. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Chet Collier, who is a vice president here in the company, and now uh, is a, he's a huge dog fan. Did and he has, force you to watch? No, no. I just decided, why not watch? It's interesting. Mm -hmm. See him prancing around out there. <laughs> Okay. Doing their you thing. didn't get angry. I was promised no, no, that you no. were really going to be a clothes. It's the clothes. Um. Clothes are weird. I think that dogs are embarrassed around their friends when they have to wear clothes. Mm -hmm. But maybe when they're all wearing them, you know. I'm sure oh, they all show up at the hotel. The day them. all the dogs start wearing the clothes, <laughs> maybe that's the day we ought to think of doing something else, Jane. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. <clears throat> I have other facts for you here. Well, I actually brought you a little guideline to the you, lingo well, they're going to be using on the show oh, tomorrow night. Oh, that's good. Well, this so, gives us something to talk about tomorrow. Stay tuned for Studio B from FNC tomorrow. Skinnerville on pooches. <laughs> See you then, Skinny. Bye. We're getting new information.